If you're new around here, we're the newbies. I'm Tara, this is John, and these are our two little boys, Crusoe and Soya. We've been renovating this abandoned farm in northern Portugal for over a year, converting outbuildings, creating outdoor living spaces, expanding the family, and making some gnarly abandoned homes livable. Now, we're gearing up for a monumental task. Join us as we prepare to knock it all down and build our very own dream home here on our land. But before we can do that, we're facing our toughest season yet. Living in a home that has just two rooms with two little boys who are under the age of three and a very wet winter ahead. Question is, can we handle it? Be here at my shoulder Be here in my side Be here when the cold night falls And in the morning light Be here in the autumn When all the colors call Be the burning memory of all the summers gone. Be here every morning. Be the calm I feel. Be the beauty I behold All the days I'm here Be here to remind me Feels a little bit different on the farm this morning. It's fresh, it's beautiful, and it definitely feels like while the autumn is very much here and with us, everything suddenly bursts and those autumnal colors start to flood the farm and it's so beautiful and um, we've been super busy over the last few days joao has been here he's been helping me out a lot over in this corner here we've basically decided we're just going to dig up a whole patch of the lawn bit daring bit brave off you know it, it did feel pretty awful doing it but in the long term it's going to be so much better we just had so much of that running grass growing in between the good grass over on that patch that, well, now's really the time to reseed and start again with that. So we've taken the top two inches off, um, put down a fresh soil, hopefully without too many gnarly seeds in it, um, and then we've reseeded. So it's going to be a couple of months before we start to see that brown patch turning green again. But when it does, hopefully that'll be very much the lawn ready and prepared for next summer. This grass that we're using here, it's called Mediterraneo for everybody who's curious about it. Um, you can buy it in Max Mat. Um, I've never seen it in Leroy Merlin, just Max Mat, um, but it's a very low water requirement grass. I think I've said this before, um, but it does take some time to get established and it's pretty hard work getting it established. But once you've done that, um, the, the grass buds, they become very lush, very strong, um, and they don't mind 40 degrees centigrade and they definitely don't mind not being watered for a day or two. So hopefully we'll get the lawn in a good place for next summer. Um, but now the project today is to finish off this path. We've just got to do it before the heavens open properly and this becomes a quagmire. I've got Joao here today as well. He's going to be helping me lift those um, heavy uh, heavy granite slabs across. Let's just get on with it. Stop chit-chatting, John. Sorry, Barbara. On we go. Of all the goodness I know Be the heart that holds on tight Don't let me let it go mm. 
What are you doing, buddy? Want to put some welly boots on? It is busy right now. Yeah, it's true. Bring that big rock. What do you think? Let's bang it, Dave. Let's bang it. We're going to bang it. We've just got to find, find the right piece. It's just now. I think that, that one you're standing on is the wrong piece. Let's take that one up. Yeah. Well, that's a big one, Beep, beep, beep. What do you think? It's good. You think it's a good one? Yeah, let's bang it, then. Let's bang it. Can you jump on it? That's it. Gently. You don't want to hurt yourself. Yeah, not yet though. We want to put some more soil there so that they're flat and that they're level. There's lots of ants there. Ants? Yeah. There might be. Can you find another stone that's got a little sort of an angle, like a pointy bit on it? Let's give that a knock, shall we? Oh, you got the perfect one, like this. I've got a perfect one. You got the perfect one, Crusoe. Yeah, let's get another one. I've got another one, Daddy. I've got another one. I've got another one, Daddy. Thanks, Crusoe. Bang it. Yeah, we'll give it a bang in a minute. You see the blue rake over there? Can you grab that for us? No, I'm I'm using it. Okay, you can use it, but use it over here with Dad. Where? Right, we need you to rake, I need you to rake that bit up there. Yeah. That's it, well done. Where's the ants going? I don't know, buddy. Let's grab a bit more soil. No, no, that's it, Crusoe. Enough banging now. Can you bang that a little bit? Where? This one, just go like this. I need my little shovel, Daddy. Okay, why don't you go and have a look for it? See whether you can find it somewhere. You win my bicycle. Let's get more. No. Thanks, Bruce. Good work, buddy. Right. Let's see whether we can get the next one in place. I can see birds flying I see children smiling When I think about All of the things that you and me could be I want to be with you both day and night To sit on the grass beneath the moonlight I know that life won't last forever But at least 
we can grow together. I can see the sunrise reflecting in your eyes when I think about all of the things that you and me could be I want to be with you both day and night to sit on the grass beneath the moonlight I know that life won't last forever but at least we can grow old together So it's a slow old job putting the path down like this. I guess it's probably taking the same amount of time as it would do with a sand and cement mix and putting cement down. Tara is pretty adamant about it being as wild and as natural as possible down here. So, and I think she's right. I think when, when it's settled and when it's found its feet, um, it'll be really beautiful down here and actually the the seeds that we put between the gaps and the and the uh, and the plants that grow in the pavement they are going to be the cement of this path they are what's going to hold the path together um, and hopefully for a lot longer than cement would do we'll see but yes definitely some of these paving slabs are going to crack over time um, and yes definitely they're going to move around a little bit and there's going to be fluidity within the path but I'm really okay with all of that I feel like, and that's not cutting corners that's just basically me saying I'm okay with an element of wild living inside of this very organized lawn area and what a beautiful day, you know. I often talk about how beautiful it is here when the sun is shining and when everything's going well and the rain that we've been longing for for so long has arrived and it feels nice. And I've got Joao here helping, which is always great. Take some of the pressure off. <laughs> and the chickens, by the way, are down here as well. Joao came down and he said, hey, John, you know the chickens are eating all your grass seed. <laughs> it's like... Ah, uh, yes, they are. <laughs> Brilliant. Anyway. That's how it works when you get chickens, I guess. Thanks, Theo. Your fault. Wait a minute. I think I can hear Mario at the top of the hill. Let's go and have a quick look. Take a break from that. There's always a lot going on at the farm because we've got so many projects going on at the same time. I can hear big rumbles at the top of the hill, which might mean we're getting a delivery. Let's go and have a quick look. Ooh. Kids didn't sleep very well last night. I'm banjaxed. I really, really fingers crossed hope it is. We've got Mario coming probably tomorrow and we're gonna be looking at working on this road. It is Mario. <laughs> okay, hang on. Hola Mario! Yeah! Wow! Look at that! Yeah! Very good! Very good! Thank you Mario! Oh man! <laughs> Delighted! So what does this mean? All of these rocks being delivered? Well, parts of the road as you probably remember we had a lorry come and do a delivery 
and that delivery went really well up until the point when the delivery driver tried to leave the farm and then he just got totally stuck our fault because the road was just bad um so one of our priorities is to make the road drivable and usable as quickly as possible and that will happen hopefully tomorrow now when mario comes and starts putting down a whole bunch of gravel so it'll be the first step let me talk you through it um because i'm sure you're fascinated i i'm just delighted you can see so the first step will be this section of the road we can't really do very much with it unfortunately um, and the reason for that is it's a public road it doesn't look much like one but it actually is the, um, the municipality the local municipality has promised us that early next year they're going to come down here and they're going to pave this whole bit here so really we didn't need to build this road if we didn't want to um, because the municipality will eventually be paving that road down to the gates but with the new house design and the new projects ongoing we can't have deliveries going down there and then having to reverse back up we need another solution so this is where this road comes in it's going to be a lot wider than this road here um four meters wide and it's around about in total distance the road length that we're going to be building will be about 110 meters long that's a lot of road 110 meters whoever thought that i'd have a driveway that's 110 meters long it's ridiculous but it's completely necessary to get to the house because as you know eventually we're going to have a nice circular driveway in this field here and then where the where the kitchen windows where those two windows are right there there'll be steps up from the driveway up to the front door and that'll be the entrance to the house after we've knocked this whole whole thing down that's the plan anyway so what are the big rocks for well as you remember the driver came up here the track the delivery driver came up here got stuck around about there couldn't get up we had uh, I had to get the tractor to come and pull him out come so on. let's go what we're going to be doing come is on, digging fellas. up this section here we're going to be reinforcing the area with some stones that mario's just delivered and then we're going to be putting gravel down all the way around here so then we'll pretty much have a usable road after that we're going to get the dudes to come and do some cobbling and that should be in four or five weeks time fingers crossed this is portugal you never know but that's the plan well excited okay i'll go back and carry on with what i was doing before <laughs> all of these things it's wonderful one two three four i am not a raincoat here to keep you warm then go back in the closet after the storm I'm not a match simply waiting to burn All I am is a friend Your friend till the end I'm not your impression of a city wish You loved more than everything To criticize the risk All I am is a friend Your friend till the end All I am is a friend Your friend till the end friend to the 